Hey, what's up guys? It's Lazarix. Our scanner has finished upgrading to level 11 and I've also started the upgrade on our turret in the back here to strengthen this choke point here since we can't really afford our sentry upgrade. Otherwise, that would be the best way to go to strengthen your choke points. But for right now, since this was really cheap, it only cost me $1 million to get a quick upgrade going and that'll help out a lot. Um, I do want to show you a replay real quick of someone hacking this network. Uh, I don't think I've showed you guys too much of that. So let's check out this first one here where they had the portal program. Our scanner was up. So let's see if it made a little bit of a difference. It should have its plus 20%. You'll see that bar is going up quick. Wow, are they going for it? Yeah, they are. Let's see if they can get it. Oh, it's super close. Oh, they got it. Oh, I see. They got a level 2 portal, a level 3 wraith, and a level 5 access program. And they barely got it. And check this out. Because our high level sentry is right there, the antivirus is super strong and it's hitting it down. We just took down their protector. Yes. Uh, that instant extra damage with the... The sentry there helps a ton. Uh, as you can see, we just took down their protector. And now they had to use their second one. And it's about to go down. They needed another ice wall. The damage on that sentry for this choke point is huge with the combination of those three turrets. And wow, it's done. So another reason um, I like this uh, first choke point is because if one of these turrets goes down... It has the Guardian here, the Sentry connected to it, and this B-Coin mine. So you'll get the antivirus from those three nodes doing a ton of damage on that turret to hopefully take it back uh, as quickly as possible. But um, they didn't make it too far. I want to show you one more replay real quick. How about the next one down here? Looks like they got some B-Coins. Um, I think they made it a little bit further, but they're bringing out battering rams this time no race they got 12 ice walls so that'll be important to watch see how fast those goes down on this first choke point and let's see so the antivirus doesn't spread to the back as quickly as I want but that's okay because I think our choke points here really slow uh, slow them down to give it enough time to spread to all the nodes in the back and all right, we're just getting up to the front here. So they're using a blaster on the second choke point. Not choke point, but second code gate. And our scanner is up, but that didn't really matter because they didn't use any stealth programs. But we'll see if it makes a difference with the antivirus because it did, it is installed on the scanner. We'll see if they'll need to throw on a ice wall. Look at the damage. Wow. Okay, so they did get it anyways. Oh, we took it back because we took back that sentry. Nice. So they lost a lot of time there. I'm not sure where his programs went. I think he was trying to spread his worms, but didn't realize that he lost that node. Uh, so, yeah, look at that. That sentry goes down right away. If you do want to get past it, you need to put down an ice wall. Putting down a shocker won't work. Uh, that's how strong that choke point is that um, you won't get past it without throwing down an ice wall. Pro tip, if you uh, hack my network, but you'll see here all three of these nodes are attacking that turret with antivirus, and that sentry has a ton of health. I think it has a thousand firewall. Unfortunately, he does break through by doubling up extra, extra, uh, looks like he's got three beam cannons there and a whole bunch more on that first turret he took. So he did get past that one. And it goes down. Dang. Another reason why you should upgrade your sentry. This is going very well. This choke point isn't the greatest because it's slow. But I think it does a lot of damage still. And it really um, slows them down too. Because it takes a while to take down these black ice. But the second part of this choke point is that these nodes in the back connecting to the black ice still take back these black ice so you can't ignore these three nodes the bitcoin mine server farm and compiler there um otherwise you'll lose your ground on those black ice 
And uh, I just looked down and I noticed he was all out of programs. So that was very nice job there. Um, hopefully you can uh, learn a little bit if you're going to hack my network after seeing that. Uh, I'm kind of giving it away how to beat my network, but that's okay. I'm fine with that because there's still a lot of people out there who uh, don't see this video and will struggle. And I think that's all I'm going to show for right now. we got to keep going. Uh, but yeah, this network has been working very well. And I do have 47,000 B-Coins. I am definitely going to upgrade this, this episode to level 8. We need to get that going. So then we can upgrade our Beam Cannons after that to level 13, which I mentioned before. So let's go find someone real quick. All right, this guy's got a decent amount of B-Coins and money. I don't think we'll have to spend too many resources on this guy, hopefully. Um, unfortunately, I only have four access programs. I think I might be able to make it. We'll see. To both... To both code gates. Yes, we did. Perfect. And there we go. Both of them are down. So... With this core right out front and in the way, I'm actually going to try and double up on it to um, try and increase our speed so that'll give us more time in the end. I don't think we'll need it, but it's just uh, something I want to show you guys that you can do when you're hacking a network that has their core, or in another case, if there was a code gate right there, you could double up on it. So we're going to start at this one and then switch over to this one okay let's just let me just show you here triple up there double there and then when this uh, program library goes down to us we can throw three more beam cannons on it it is kind of expensive but we took it down quick it was about 12 seconds and we're already to the second code gate here um, that program library and evolver are just kind of a waste being there. Didn't really need three beam cannons there. That's okay. It's all about the time. And we're going to shock her and do we hold it? No, we lost it. Okay, good. Good thing I didn't put a protector on there because that's what I was about to do. Uh, why didn't I put a protector on there again? Okay. I just decided to go for it. But that's all right. We'll still cruise on through here. Take it down these nodes. Got to make sure our shields stay up. Don't need a shield on every node. Just the critical ones that are connected to a lot of other nodes that are open to antivirus hits. Um, and the ones that you don't are just like ones that have one other connection. I think that will be enough to take down the rest of the nodes. Oh, we lost that B-Coin Mixer. Okay, how we doing? That one's almost gone, but we almost got that down. Perfect. We don't need to take that scanner, so I'm not going to waste the beam cannons on it. We got all the resources. We're good to go. Plus nine. That's not too bad. I'm okay with that. And we're up to 50,000 B-Coins now before compiling our programs. That's okay. So we got about 10 to 12,000 more B-Coins to go. And I think we can get there fairly quickly. No way, you guys. Check this out. 300,000 in nearly 12,000 B-Coins. I got all three race uh, queued up because I uh, checked out this network. And saw that he had all the code gates right out front there, so this will work perfectly. I checked out the antivirus too. That isn't too strong. I think it's about level 10. Uh, but let's get going here. Take out these code gates. It's going to take a little while longer because we haven't upgraded our wraith at all. And we will have enough time to get all three of them down. Even though we've only upgraded our access program to level 4. So he does have this choke point there and a choke point at that guardian kinda, but um, I'm not too worried about this one. I think we'll be able to clutch it. He's got his a oh, bunch of random, like those two don't need to be there. But anyways, let's get going so we don't waste any time. I'm probably gonna throw on three beam cannons right here 
Because, yep, unfortunately I knew I was going to go after that compiler first, that's okay. Let's speed this up to quickly get to that core and start taking it down. We have the beam cannons to spare. Not too worried. Uh, now I gotta make sure I get this, uh, this shocker and protector on there properly. Because we're up against three level six turrets. So those aren't very upgraded either. Nice. Not sure what he put all his levels into. Let's get going there. Oh, I see what he put his levels into. Look at those server farms, three of them. Same with the Bitcoin mines in the back. So that's why he's such a high level. And we'll be able to take him down here. Uh, just gotta. I'm I'm assuming that a lot of the resources are gonna be in his resource collectors because you'll see his storages are empty. Um, just wasted an ice wall there. That's okay. I realized at the last second that we needed it, and we ended up getting up here fairly quickly. So that server farm didn't even have the in antivirus installed or AV, if you want to call it that. That works as well. Boom! Wow, a lot of money in there. He did have a little bit of money in that database. I don't know if you saw that. Three thousand B coins. Holy smokes! That's a lot of B coins. Dang. These are the networks I'm looking for right here, you guys. Tons of resources makes my job a lot easier. Are we gonna lose this century? No, we didn't, perfect. Wait, oops, I didn't see that server farm over here. Um, it was just kinda like this one over off to the right there. I'm gonna leave those storages there. It looks like there's going to be some money in his database here but I saw that there wasn't any B coins in his B coin mixer so I know there isn't any in the other one and we already got the core down so I don't want a reputation to go up too much this will work out just fine I'm going to cut wow a hundred thousand I'm just gonna skip forward to when this is done so yes there is a little bit of money that server farm finished I think he came close to three hundred thousand I said so there's about like 10,000 I'm guessing in that database. I'm okay with leaving that there. Uh, save the Bitcoin, save our reputation. We got it. So yeah, we got 98% of the resources. And we got credits too. Successfully hack five networks. Uh, but what are we at? We got the 60,000 you guys. But this episode's, I think it's running a little bit shorter. So I'm going to do another one and uh, keep on going here. Even though we could stop and upgrade that, um, I do want to do more. Because I think I'm seeing a lot of loot down here right now. And I definitely don't want to miss any of it. Oh wow, you guys. My luck is so good today. 174,000, 4,000 Bitcoins. My programs cost about 1.4 thousand Bitcoins. So this will work perfectly, and check it out. His weakest code gate is in the back, so we'll be able to take down the first two, which are the strongest two. Wow, that's so lucky. <laughs> oh my gosh. So then we'll be able to burst down that third code gate with our beam cannons alone. And try to quickly get through them as fast as possible. Um, so he's got a few code, uh, choke points set up. I'm not sure if he intended that black ice to be a choke point that's kind of interesting I don't think it'll be too hard to hold that um, but I'm gonna try to avoid taking his core so we don't get the reputation for that looks like a lot of his resources are in his storages uh, which won't really matter because we're gonna take everything anyways and Let's get through here. Those are pretty high level turrets. Shocker, just playing it safe. And unfortunately it goes for the sentry first. Darn. Um, I think those are like level 10 turrets. Because mine are level 9. So his must be level 10. Or 11. But we'll get through here either way. Darn, that shield just made it on there. Can we quickly take these down? Oh, we're going to need a shield. That's okay. 
And we will need some beam cannons on that top one because I should use some shurikens here because there's a B-coin mine there. Uh-oh, do we need another ice wall? Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, well. The shurikens didn't do it for us. Although, I'll have to say that the shurikens... Uh, I don't, I don't upgrade them, so... <laughs> of course, they're not going to do a lot of damage. Uh, I wouldn't say they're bad. Uh, simply because I don't, I, don't, I don't upgrade them. But, they did alright. So, that server farmer's down, unfortunately. Everything else is down. We're just waiting for the money to roll in. Yeah, there wasn't a lot in his resource collectors. But that should be enough for us there. Uh, something I would change is see if you can get a scanner right there in place of that black ice. That'd make a big difference. But there we go, you guys. We got all the resources. Let's head back, get our revolver upgrading so we can get those beam cannons as soon as possible. Take those off that turret. One day, 18 hours. Boom. There we go. 14 hours. Not bad at all. So that's going to be all for this episode. Like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to see more. And I'll see you all next time.